I'ma blow up. <laughs> Alright, yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another Rogo video. It's your boy Dazed back at it again here, of course. For today's video, I'm gonna be continuing the how to level up or how to grind fast or, you know, how to grind. So in the last episode, if you haven't watched it, I recommend you guys you go definitely watch this before watching this video. It's for the beginners for level 0 on how to level up or how to grind in Rogul. And this video, episode 2, is going to be for the mid-game players. And when you already hit level 750 and you want to grind until level 1250, I guess, then I'm going to show you guys the best ways to level up here. So if you guys haven't watched the episode 1, which is the one for beginners for the early game for level 0 until level 250, I advise you guys to go watch it first. I'm going to leave a link in the description to that video. But yeah, without further ado, let us start. So if you are around level 750, of course, the ones I told you in the last video, it's basically just the same thing as the early game. But there's a few differences, of course, and I'm gonna show you some techniques. Some people might not know about this stuff, so I'm gonna show them today to you guys for the mid-game players. So of course, the first thing, as you guys know, you guys might already know this, of course, you still have to do your trainers. And I'm pretty sure you're still not yet done with trainers if you are a mid-game player. So doing trainers is actually a big help to you for leveling up until, you know, hitting late game. And there is one trainer that I want you guys to equip for CCG and Gul actually. So you guys should finish this trainer since it's really helpful, the Hideyoshi Nagachika. Having S1 Hide on your roster increases XP gain per corpse collection by 25 even if it's just 25 that's already a big difference it still helps you gain xp and leveling up so you need to finish the trainer until 100 to equip it and i have it equipped wait no i'm already max level i haven't i don't have it equipped but make sure you equip it here on slot one slot two or slot three it's up to you guys once you finish the trainer because it won't automatically equip once you finish the trainer so i recommend you guys you know do this hideyoshi nagachika trainer and for the goal you guys should equip the shu sukiyama trainer Alright, so for the ghoul, that trainer is the same as this one, the Shu Sukiyama trainer. So having S1 Sukiyama on your roster increases XP gain per corpse collection by 25. I have those both trainers in uh, CCG and ghoul equipped when I was still grinding and it actually really helped a lot when I was farming, you know, the triangle augury technique. So if you guys don't know the triangle augury method, it's basically doing this triangle augury here. There's one here. So you're going to kill this one. Boom. And you're gonna kill this one as well and you're gonna kill this one as well so don't forget to collect the corpses you just have to click on them and basically you just keep doing that until the nishiki nishio boss and the kotaro amon spawns and also don't forget to you know keep doing your tasks and you can get those tasks here don't forget to keep doing this task because this will come in handy later in the late game if you get a task complete a task if you do a task, you're gonna gain reputation, and for how much reputation you have, that's the cash you're gonna get. So if I cash it out right now, I have 11 million reputation. If I cash it out, I get 11 million cash, and that's going to come in really handy later once we are at the late levels of the game, if we are around level 1000 plus. But yeah, it's basically just the same thing as the early game, where you know, you do the triangle augur technique. That's basically what I did when I was still in the mid game. I did the triangle augur method. I wait for uh, Nishiki Nishio to spawn and also the Kotaro Amon since you're already allowed to farm the Kotaro Amon. And of course, never forget doing your trainers, not just the Shusukiyama or the Hideyoshi Nagachika trainers. You can do any type of trainers here. There are some trainers that has a requirement for you to do so of course you have to finish them first. But yeah, never forget to do your trainers. Since it's really, really useful for leveling up, it really, really helps you a lot. And it also gives you a buff if you equip them. And of course, there's also codes here in this game. So if you guys haven't redeemed them, I recommend you guys to redeem them right now. Since by this time, I think if you are already in the mid game, you probably already have a decent Kagune, maybe Noro, maybe Koshi. It really just depends if you really do your task or if you have enough yen. So if you already have enough yen for like a good Kagune, then I recommend you guys buy any Kagune. A Kagune or a Quinke that is actually decent for for farming but you don't need rc for queen k so if you have a kagune that is decent maybe noro or koshi you guys should definitely start redeeming the code since it's going to give you rc and you can use those rc to unlock the full potential of your kagune so i actually don't know any codes right now in the game that is actually working so 
you guys can just search up in google or check in the rogel discord server what codes are working right now in the game but to redeem a code you just have to type it so let's say for example like this exclamation mark code anniversary uh five let's say like that like that you, that's basically how you redeem a code i don't know i just made that random code that code is not real or i don't know <laughs> you just you guys can just search up what codes are working or if you guys are actually too lazy enough you can just start auto clicking since you know auto clicking is really really good as well especially if you have the shusukiyama trainer or the hideo shinagachika trainer when you collect the corpse it gives you 25 plus xp make sure you guys collect the corpse whenever you kill an augiri member since it gives 25 plus and that's literally the purpose of the trainers that i told you guys earlier but it's just optional of course doing this triangle augiri method is more efficient and waiting for the nishiki nishio boss and the kotaro amon boss is better so i'm gonna show you guys some of the best kagones that i think would be good for farming the triangle augur method and kotaro amon eto yushimura is actually really really good but for the price i don't think it is but for farming it's good if you have the yen you guys should definitely try out eto yushimura since it's really fun to use kakujira of course that's also good for farming but of course the price is too high so i don't think it would be worth it it's only for late game players 500 million and ken kaneki is also good for farming since there's a ton of mobility you can jump around on the triangle out gear methods faster koshi is also really really good this is a must buy if you're a mid game player or even an early game player if you have enough yen so you guys should definitely buy Koshi. Noro, this one is also a must buy, but it's optional if you guys want to try out Noro. But for me, this is actually the Kagone that I grew strong with, the Noro. So it's now my main and I really, really love using it. Takizawa is also decent for farming if you guys want to try it out. Tatara, not much. Toga Kirishima is also a really, really good Kagone for farming because of the range stuff. And the Yakumo Mori is also decent, or the Yamori. But if you guys just want to focus on farming, then the Koshi, 175 million yen, the Koshi, and the Toka is a must buy. So, and the Noro actually, the three of those, Toka, Koshi, and the Noro. Those three are the best Kagones, I think, for farming and you guys want to level up until the late game. And basically just doing all those. So yeah, I think that's going to be everything for mid game players. Every day, I still trying to find new methods on leveling up here in Rogol a lot faster. I promise to you guys once I find out that there's a better way of leveling up here in Rogul, I promise to make a video about it as soon as possible. But yeah, that's going to be it for the mid-game players. So all in all, it's basically just equip the Shusukiyama or the Hideyoshi Nagashka trainer, do trainers, farm the Augir triangle method, do the Nishiki Nishio boss, and do the Kotaro Amon boss. Since most likely you're probably going to be already 750 plus. And for the auto click is also optional. It's up to you guys whether you want to use uh, auto clicker, but it's also really, really good if you know you're multitasking and stuff, and you can maybe even auto click when you're sleeping. But of course, doing the triangle out gear method is more efficient than auto clicking since it's a lot faster and you can maybe even do tasks while farming. Gain even more yen, you're gonna get more value out of it doing the triangle out gear method and start using codes and get a decent Kagone or a Quinke. So, yeah, that's going to be it. I'm planning on making a tier list soon on what Kagone or Quinke you guys should prioritize as a beginner so look out for that but yeah that's going to be it thank you guys for watching i hope this helped you and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel thanks for watching and peace out